Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. Today I am going to be showing you how to upgrade a video card or how to install a video card. Some of you may not know how to. We were all there at one point. Don't be upset if somebody calls you a noob because you know what, they were noobs too at one point. And for those of you that have already know how to do it, you know, maybe you'll learn something or maybe you'll complain, I do it all wrong, blah, 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 it doesn't matter. You might learn something today, you might not. This is my good old EVGA GTX 660 Ti. It's been a great card. It still is a good card. The cooling solution it had wasn't the greatest, so I updated it with the Arctic Accelero S3, which is amazing. Cools it very well. I reviewed it earlier, and I liked it so much I kept it on the card. Uh, but the problem is, as the games get bigger and better and better and all that good stuff, there's only so much I can push to overclock this card and mind you this is probably going to take it all everything I've given it so far but still DX12 and everything else that gets thrown at it it just can't do it anymore so there comes a time in a man's life or a woman's life when they have to make that tough decision do I have the money luckily this card is pretty reasonable I'm going to be upgrading today to the PNY GeForce GTX 960 OC the Accelerate Edition. Model number is VCG GTX 9602 XPB XEOC. It's the Elite OC Overclock. You can see on here there are two PCIe connections. And on the newer PNY, the 960, there's only one. So she requires less power which is great. First off, what you're going to have to do in order to update, you're going to have to get rid of these two screws over here. So, all right. And this part I can't show you because of how big this cooling solution is. And I can actually show you when I put the PNY in there, but I'm going to have to reach back there, push down the PCIe retention mechanism so that I can pull the card out. I'm going to do it, but I can't show you right now. All right. And then, of course, I'm going to want to disconnect these. All right. And then there's the extra power for the fans that I'll just disconnect here. For those of you that don't know what this is, this is a Molex connection. Not used much more anymore, but back in the day it was for hard drives, for CD-ROMs, for video cards, for everything. So this was the retention mechanism I was telling you about. You need to push it in. It's going to pop out when there's a video card. There's a few different types. There's some that you have to push down on this way some you gotta push in some you gotta pull out they're all different it depends on your motherboard so I'm gonna go ahead and put this card in here and I'm gonna make sure first off alright I'm gonna make sure that first off these two or this entire PCI back part lines up back here. So that makes sure that my PCIe slot, HDMI, DMI, stick up perfectly so I can connect my monitor and then also so that it connects back here on the PCI slot. So now when it's in there good, I just slide it in. That's it. Pretty easy. And now when I want to take the card out, I just push right here on the PCIe retention mechanism. And notice the card's going to pop out a little bit. Notice how it moved a little tiny bit. That lets me know that it's out of the slot. It's not being held anymore. And I could just easily pull it out. But of course we're here to install it. So I'll go ahead and push it back in. And now watch that. See how when I pushed it back in, that little piece moved up. You can always rewind and you'll see it. And now 
I'm going to go ahead and screw in those screws I just unscrewed. We have a few options. Let's say, so this will work, they say with at least a 400 watt power supply, this particular video card. And depending on your system build, maybe a 500 watt. If you have a 400 or 500, there is a small chance that you're not gonna have a PCI connection. And that's fine because this box brings Molex to PCIe. Those connections I showed you earlier, These two here come part of my power supply. So I just connect one here, all right? And now I connect the other one. This is a demonstration. I do recommend that each of these Molex connections come from a different strand, a different cable of these. That way you're more likely to pull from a different rail. So now all you do is just push this in here. And that's it. It latches in. You notice how easy that was. There is going to be a chance that you're going to put it upside down. If you put it in upside down, there is no chance it's going to fit in there. All right, so you'll notice this one is a square. This one is kind of square, but around the top it's rounded off. Same here. This is a square. Square rounded off, square rounded off. And that's going to match these little pegs here. All right, so that ensures that you cannot install that upside down. You can only install it one way, the correct way. If you're like me though, you don't need this because your previous power supply had more than enough. That's for those people that A, might be coming from onboard video, or people that might be coming from very low end video cards. So now I'm kind of left with an extra one because now I can plug this in and this guy's just hanging out. You don't want to leave it there because small chance, you know, it could hit the card, it could hit something metal and zap everything. So remove that cable or zip tie it away. And then you're pretty much done. That's about it. So, you know, I gave you two options. A, you can install it using the Molex to PCIe that's included in the box, PNY provided. Of course, connecting to these Molex cables. Or B, you can use the PCIe six pin that your power supply may have. You're always gonna wanna connect this. If you don't connect it, your computer's gonna scream at you. It's probably beep, oh, beep, 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 beep. I don't remember the beep code, but then aside from that, again, you're done. You may wanna manage that cable a little bit better. I'll probably do that later. Now, with the PNY card, you have one DVI, three display ports, and one HDMI. So you're pretty much set. That's about it for this installation video. Again, this was the PNY GeForce GTX 960. Their Accelerate Edition that is overclocked. Model number VCG GTX 9602 XPB-XE-OC. Again, their overclocked edition card. And this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger. See you guys a little bit later. Bye.